Hi, I'm Paul Hopkinson, and today I'm going to show you some clips from my main watercolour video on how I painted a very colourful nuttach. Let's get started. Right, so the first thing I need to do is get the outline drawing onto the paper. Now I'm going to do this by using the graphite backed paper method. So this is just a quick way of getting the outline down and then to start the painting. So for the eye itself, I'd like to kind of wet the paper down first because that allows you to blend the colours as you go through the painting process. We'll try and keep the colours nice and fresh. And keeping those colours fresh will help give it a little bit more kind of colour within the eye. We'll try not to get anything looking too muddy. I like to add a colour behind first, even though you're going to go dark over the top, because if you kind of want to lift paint off, then you've got that remaining colour underneath as your foundation layer. Once all the details on the eye, we're using our double zero brush with that little white highlight, right for the little sparkle, so we've got something of a bit more life to look at throughout the painting process. The beak itself has worked in a similar way, so we're going to work on layers, and so there's going to be layer upon layer, and each layer will gradually get darker, but kind of leaving out, point to one side, the light areas within the beak itself. We'll add some little white highlights on the top of that to kind of create the shape and the form we need. Then the foundation washes for the body. Now treat this as like, um, let's say like building a house. So you've got a foundations down on the ground first, then you've got to build the structure on top of those foundations. This is a similar process the way I tend to paint. So we're going to work on the foundation washes first of all, and these washes can be slightly gradiated a little bit, so we can add this first layer of detail over the top. Now the detail itself will be done in various layers. We've got to think about the first layer is going to be slightly lighter in the, in the colour, so using these variations of blues. Then the second layer will be the darker areas, so the mid-tones if you wish. And then the final layer of detail over the top will be the darkest of the colour. So it's like a darky, blacky, blue colour we're going to be using for this. Now the feathers themselves, think about the feathers in the way of like a, like a V shape, okay? So when you look at one single feather, and then you've got the vein, or you know, the vein down the centre of the feather, then either side of that vein, think of a V coming away. You'll see what I mean in a minute when I work on the tail feathers. Now we're going to work on the belly as well, now this is <laughs> quite a bright orange really to be honest with you, because I find that with the European Nuttach, obviously here in the UK, the males tend to have a brighter kind of orange chest than the females. And then working on the tail feathers, now as I mentioned before, this is that kind of V feel that we've got to it. So you can see this gradual building up. So you build it up step by step, layer by layer as you go along. Think about where it's darker as well, because you can just see underneath the different layers of the feathers for the tail, they get the other darker areas behind. Now every layer of detail you put on in the same way, make sure each layer is dry first before we go to the second layer and third layer and so on. Every layer will gradually build up this kind of feel of a realistic feather itself. We'll light this off and everything down over the top of the feathers and then we've got to go to paint the feet. Now, painting the feet is done in a very similar, similar way. So we're going to be working with wet and wet washes, okay? And each wash we lay down, we've got to think about the colour, such as this, we've got lemon yellow, we've got a little bit of burnt sienna and so on. And we've got to add those colours in. Now, every time you put a layer of detail on, that layer will get darker, even if you're using the same colour. We use our double zero brush, add in the finest details to the leg itself and to the feet and the claws, and then we're going to go and add some watercolour white. Now watercolour white I tend to use a lot of, you can use white gouache as well, and this will help you kind of create the highlights to the top of the feathers. Also comes in handy for dogs, cats, horses as well, as a variety of different, uh, different subjects. Now then, the wood. Here we go. Good thing about wood is that every piece of wood I find anyway is different. So you've got complete freedom here so you can really play with the paints and really play with the colours. So it doesn't have to be the same as a photograph. You can paint it whatever way you want to paint it and you can add as much detail as you want to add. 
So it's all going to be done through wet and wet washes, adding the detail over the top, then once everything's nice and dry, then we've got to think about using our double zero brush again and adding those final lines in there. Now, these final lines, again, I like to add these with, <laughs> I tend to say to my patrons on Patreon that use a shaky hand. Seriously, if you use a shaky hand, they give you a nice kind of rough kind of jagged effect. And that's what I tend to do when I paint wood. But you've got to think about the shape as well. So you've got to think about where it's going to be darker and lighter, add in the details and even the shadow underneath the claws and the feet as well will make a massive difference. For one, it will give the nut hatch a little bit more grounding. Think about where it's darker. So add in the darker layer, which is a blacky brown colour I'm using here, just underneath the back of the bird. After all, that's where it's casting a shadow. And there we go, that's how to paint a nut hatch in watercolour. Now the full real-time video of this Nuttach painting tutorial is now available on my online school, where I'll guide you step by step in over three and a quarter hours of real-time video on how to paint this Nuttach in watercolour. Now if you fancy having a go at one of my watercolour lessons for free, I've got one on there just for you on how to paint a robin in watercolour. Now if you enjoyed this video, please click on subscribe down below. Click on become a patron and I'll see you there.